Dan Gibalisco here, author of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. I will provide a link to the Amazon page for this book in the description of this video, so you can go there and uh, browse through it and buy it if you want. But right now I'd like to clarify something I made in a previous video, and that is the difference between a P-type semiconductor and an N-type semiconductor. I mentioned those in the video about bipolar transistors and then realized you might not really know what the difference between those types of materials is and maybe even what I meant by that. Well, semiconductor materials are specially treated uh, metal elements, uh, special metal elements, usually silicon, oftentimes a compound called gallium arsenide, but there are two ways that you can add impurities to these uh, materials in order to create different current carrying characteristics. Uh, in one case, you have the p-type material, which means positive, and the most of the charge carriers in a positive or p-type semiconductor material are holes, which are strange absences of electrons in atoms. Whereas in an n-type or negative type semiconductor, most of the charge carriers are electrons. Holes, notice, flow from atom to atom or jump from atom to atom in a direction opposite the, the direction of the electrons. So electrons flow from minus to plus, like this, and holes move from plus to to minus. Now remember, holes are not really actual particles. They are simply absences of electrons within atoms. Every conductor or semiconductor has both electron flow or electron movement and hole uh, movement. However, in an n-type semiconductor, most of the charge carriers are electrons, and in a p-type semiconductor, most of the charge carriers are holes and that gives them greatly differing characteristics. Here's another picture of electron versus hole movement. These black dots are individual atoms. The elect uh, pardon me, these black dots represent electrons and the circles represent holes. As the electrons move from right to left, the holes or electron absences, however many of them there are, move in the opposite direction, from plus to minus. So that's basically a clarification of how all this stuff works. If you're a ham radio operator, by the way, my call sign is W1GV. Until next time, Stan Jabalisco, signing off. So long.